Welcome back to Virtual Reality. <laughs> my name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news, this time with week 42, 2021. Sorry that I couldn't show you the news last week because I was on vacation. My first vacation this year, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> but uh, that was really cool. I was in a German black forest and that's a really cool and relaxing um, part of Germany um, was really awesome, but now I can show you the news again. Everything about VR and AR hardware releases, sales and all the cool stuff, games. Thank you to my sponsors, Vodkos VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmer, Virtual Escape and Slim Beats. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! So there were a lot of new announcements for VR headsets. Uh, perhaps you've seen the Vario Aero this week. I already made a review about this headset. You can find it on my channel if you didn't see it yet. And there will also be um, the uh, Oculus Quest Pro and all the cool things that, that will be, uh, come that then that for, from HTC. There was something Magic Leap is, is announced and stuff. And now there is something incoming from Pimax and they call it the next gen VR product. That's very interesting. And um, so when we remember when the Pimax 8K, the first Pimax 8K was uh, on the market, it was really a blast. It was a totally different thing that, than everything we, we uh, saw before. We never saw a such a huge field of view and at the same time a really good um, quality of the, of, the, of the display, of the image. That was really interesting and uh, I personally love the big field of view. The Pimax has a lot of problems as well, I know. The distortion and stuff and the internal communication of this company, it's absolutely chaotic. <laughs> uh, I know that because I, I work together with them um, as, um, for, for the Pimax 8K, perhaps you remember that. And um, we, we saved their ass. <laughs> we saved their ass. You, you can't, I, I could write a book about this, but I still love them. I still love them. They are really cool and uh, they make uh, good products and I'm a big fan of uh, the, the Pimax um, headsets. But uh, they, they, they have to get rid of this chaos, really. However, on October 25th, um, 2021, there will be the Pimax Frontier event. And this is going to be interesting. They will announce a new headset. And I'm really looking forward to that. Perhaps it's the Pimax 16K with a 360 degrees of field of view or something like that. And they, they, they will do that. <laughs> they will do that. They announce something and they uh, will do that. Uh, I didn't believe that there will be such a huge field of view, but they did that. And it's on um, 10, at 10 a.m. PDT. Um, and here's a link uh, for the live stream on YouTube. And I'm really looking forward to that. Also to the Facebook Connect. Uh, on October 28th, uh, where um, the Quest Pro will likely be announced. I'm really looking forward to that. Also, uh, soon perhaps I can travel to my second home to United States again to all these cool events um, because it's finally uh, um, in, in the news they said uh, from November 2021 they allow uh, the Europeans um, to travel to US again. Thank you so much. <laughs> so um, I think I will do that then. Only problem is my, my passport is uh, not, um, <laughs> it, it's too old and I have to renew it. I hope uh, I, I can do that until January. I hope so. We will see. So guys, I'm looking forward to the Primex Frontier event. So, um, if you are an indie developer and you have no idea what to do, how to start, you have no money, you have um, questions about programming, um, the first steps and all the stuff, then there is something from Chicken Waffle that's called uh, XR Creator Fund. 
So they will not only support you with money, they will also help you with their knowledge. They work together with NASA, with Red Bull, with Magic Leap Disney, big companies and they have a lot of money and they have a lot of knowledge and that's very important for uh, new indie developers and that's a good thing. So if you want uh, some information about this, here is the uh, webpage link in this article of VR Scout. And then you can check out that. Um, so to be honest, uh, in the last years, the indie games, the indie VR games, we really have to be honest here. Um, I think 95% of these games were absolute crap and bullshit. Yeah? I know this is hard <laughs> to say, but in Germany we uh, say that uh, this way. We are hard guys here. <laughs> uh, and um, so this could help a little bit. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to see the results of this um, XR Creator Fun platform. So this is the most interesting news for me this week. Um, we we can think about Facebook uh, what whatever you want. So. Many people hate Facebook and many people love Facebook. For me, um, I, I'm not really sure. So I hate that they force us to use Facebook to use an Oculus Quest. This, this is a bad decision. And uh, I really love that Germany is really pushing, the, uh, kicking them into their ass uh, for doing that. <laughs> Germany is the only country on the, on the world uh, that is kicking Facebook's ass. <laughs> so th this is this is crazy. But uh, on the other side, I really love Facebook um, that they keep virtual reality alive. I, I'm pretty sure without the Quest and Quest 2, I think VR would perhaps already be dead. I, I'm not so sure, but I think it could be. But on the other side, um, virtual reality is drifting into the casual scene. So I, I, I don't like casual games. Uh, I, I want bigger games like Alex and all the stuff. Um, so this is different. On the one side it's cool, on the other side it's bad. However, Facebook now is hiring 10,000 people in the European Union, Union to create something like the Oasis. Uh, perhaps you know the, the, the movie uh, Ready Player One where they, people live in a virtual world and Facebook doesn't call that uh, Oasis, they call that Metaverse. And that's a combination of virtual and augmented reality where we can experience a, a complete world, we can work, we can play, we can interact in a world. Um, and not only the software or just a social media game but also the hardware and they are pushing the hardware uh, forward. For example, they will uh, release the Oculus Quest Pro uh, with face tracking and eye tracking and stuff. So our virtual avatars are doing the same um, gestures and um, um, face movement like we are doing that ourselves and this is the first step. Of course we also need other hardware like a haptical vest uh, that's already uh, available like be haptics but it needs it, it needs to be better it needs to be cheaper then we also need um, a treadmill a good treadmill like this from ready player one that must be cheap that must be for mass market and stuff and that's what i expect from the metaverse so 10,000 employees, I'm really looking forward to, to that. Um, I will definitely follow this um, and uh, tell you everything you need to know about this as soon as we know more from the metaverse. So when the HTC Vive Flow was announced, uh, then there was a little shitstorm because of the high price. I mean, uh, I, I, I pretty love this HTC Vive Flow thing because we can, um, this is just a simple uh, glasses that we can wear. We can uh, do it in, in the lying position and uh, we can watch movies and stuff. This is what many people wanted, but the price sucks. <laughs> and, um, and after the announcement of that, Facebook uh, directly pushed against that and showed some prototypes of their upcoming headsets. This is Mark Zuckerberg uh, wearing a retina resolution prototype VR headset. Wow. 
<laughs> I'm really looking um, forward to see that. And here is Andrew Bosworth with another cool prototype. And this one goes uh, in the direction of, uh, of the Oasis headset from Ready Player One. Look at this. And uh, I think they are really pushing that metaverse thing. So uh, Mark Zuckerberg has a big vision of the life that we have in the future in, inside the metaverse. But I hope he's doing that slow and in a correct way and so that everybody can um, experience that in a good way. I'm really looking forward to that. The, the prototypes are really looking very interesting. We will see guys, we will see. So, five years birthday. Happy birthday, PlayStation VR. Since five years, we have this cool headset now. And um, this is time to, to do a party because I'm really happy about Sony um, keeping um, virtual reality alive, the same like Facebook. And uh, of course, we can, we can be angry about the... Um, Games that are exclusive. I, I know we, we already know that the whole stuff. We all want to play Resident Evil 7 VR on PC. I know that. But on the other side, without Sony, perhaps um, uh, virtual reality would already be dead. I don't know. So Sony and Facebook are really pushing that. And um, so. When you, when you consider how everything started, the PlayStation VR came out. Um, there were a lot of very cool games over the last years. Of course, um, the, when, you, when we see the, um, the, the, the technical specifications now, the, the resolution is very low, the tracking sucks. And uh, mostly, if you, if you ask me, is, is it... Um, should you buy the PlayStation VR still in this year? I would say yes, if you can get it for a cheap price, then I would, I would do that because we, you can still use the, the PlayStation VR on the new PlayStation 5 with this free uh, adapter that you can order. And um, then you have a lot of cool games. When, when I check out my favorite list here, Astrobot Rescue Mission, we have Arizona Sunshine, we have Beat Saber, we have Blood and Truth, Borderlands 2, Farpoint with the cool aim controller, we have um, um, Hitman, um, then we have Iron Man VR, we have uh, Moss, uh, that's a really cool game, No Man's Sky, we can play in virtual reality, and of course, my favorite Resident Evil 7 um, is awesome. And some sport games like uh, Sprint Vector is also awesome. We can play Star Trek Bridge Crew together with PC VR players, Star Wars Quadrants, and um, of course, Skyrim VR. That's, that's a lot of games that really are worth uh, playing in virtual reality with the PlayStation VR. So if you can get it cheap, then why not? But if you are a little bit patient, next year the PlayStation VR 2 will likely come on the market and this will have much better resolution. It will have good controllers, uh, 360 degree perfect tracking and stuff. So this is going to be a blast with the PlayStation 5 of course. And I'm really looking forward to that, to work together with Sony and trying the new headset. And I I, I'm really thankful for Sony to, um, to keep virtual reality, virtual reality alive, same like Facebook. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the future of Sony VR. And um, the next headset is announced, the Magic Leap 2. Uh, but this is an augmented reality headset, not virtual reality. So we can see through and there are some things appearing in our real environment. So the first Magic Leap was not so nice. It was bulky. The colors were not good. You couldn't see the tracking, uh, see uh, the colors very good. The tracking was bad. The field of view was ultra small. And now they announced for 2022 the Magic Leap 2 and that will be much lighter. They say we can wear it all the time and they want to make it possible to use it in a brighter location. Um, like in the surgery um, room and stuff and they want to improve the field of view that it is uh, at least as big as with the HoloLens 2 
and they want to make the colors better, the display better, the tracking better. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully I can get my hands on this. Um, so that, it, I mean, when we check this out, it, it cannot be a really huge field of view. That's impossible with this uh, thing, but um, I, it's n just not for gaming. Um, so I think it's, it's fine. We will see that next year, 2022, when the Magic Leap 2 is on the market. And there's also something coming from HP. It's not a real blast. It's just an update for the Reverb G2. And this will include the most things that people complained about. In first line, the controller tracking. I also have the uh, Reverb G2 and I can confirm that the tracking was really not good. Most people use the G2 for uh, seating positions with uh, simulations. But what if you want to play uh, Elix or uh, Onward or something like that, then the, the, the controller tracking is not was not really good. And now they improved the camera um, um, positions so that the coverage of the controller tracking is much better. 30% better, they say. Then also they uh, improve the um, face pad, the distance between your eyes and the lenses, because the second thing that people complained about the G2 uh, is the very small field of view. And I can confirm that. And it's good that they will, will improve that as well so that we have a bigger field of view. The next thing is uh, AMD compatibility, so this is not a problem then anymore. Windows 10 improvements to Mixed Reality Portal then, and um, it's available. You can get it for $50 off now. That's, that's interesting. <clears throat> and um, I hope HP will uh, work, w wants to work together with me again because they are a little bit afraid of my reviews because uh, I was not so impressed by the um, reverb headset. So they just don't want to send me a review units. <laughs> uh, that's, I think it's a bad decision. So I'm really very open for improvements. And if the headset is good, I will do a good review. So please to HP, don't be afraid of my reviews. Please send me a review unit of that. And uh, I promise when this headset has improved and is good, then I will do a good review. If it still sucks, I will do a negative review. That's how things work. But don't be afraid of this, please. <laughs> uh, oh my God. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really uh, thinking that this is a good thing what they are doing. They improve the things that they, people complained about. And yeah, I'm looking forward to try that. So guys, if you want to support me, I would really be happy if you use my Amazon link to buy your stuff. It's just for free for you. You don't pay anything extra. Check out the first pinned comment and please bookmark my Amazon link when you buy something from Amazon. This would, would be really awesome. Or if you want early access to my videos and um, also some behind the scenes videos, then one buck per month via Patreon or YouTube membership. That would be totally awesome. See the first pinned comment for more information. And um, perhaps you can guess how much work all this stuff here is besides my full-time job. So I'm working hours and hours a day um, to do the stuff for you. Perhaps you can support me a little bit. So let's check out the releases this week on Steam. We have um, Demolish and Build. And as the name says, we can do a, a lot of destruction here with some big machines. <laughs> then we have Vero Move. This is a um, combination of VR game and real life workout. You will, so you will sweat a lot here in this game. You can play a free demo here. Then Apocalyptic Adventure Episode 1. This is a mix of exploring, surviving, defense and uh, resource management. I will um, try this game and hopefully I can show it on my channel. Then on the Oculus Quest we have finally Unplugged. And this is um, 
really cool music game with a guitar that you have in your hands, a virtual guitar. And of course, Resident Evil 4 VR. So it's 40 bucks and um, I already showed that on my channel and it's really a cool game. They did a cool user interface and controls of virtual reality. And for the Oculus Rift platform, we have Space Folk City. This is um, casual, colorful uh, a city building simulation um, for 25 bucks. There's nothing new on the PlayStation VR this week. Okay, and let's check out the sales this week. Payday 2 on Steam, it's 80% off. Then we have Sinister Halloween, this is a cool um, Halloween adventure game, 50% off. Then on PlayStation VR, there is a huge sale. I cannot show you everything. I selected the best games with the highest um, 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 discount. So, for example, Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, cool action game, 60% off. Ghost Giant, cool adventure, 65% off. Chan Room, Green Water, Horror. 60% off Paper Dolls, also a horror game, 65% off. This is my favorite horror game, Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, 80% off. Arizona Sunshine, Zombie Shooter, 70% off. Intruders Hide and Seek, this is a stealth adventure, 90% off. And Asteroid Rescue Mission, cool jump and run game, 60% off. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, Horror Roller Coaster, 60% off. And Batman Arkham VR, a cool Batman adventure, 60% off. So guys, please check out the first pinned comment and do me a favor and support me a little bit. That would be awesome. Thank you so much and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo.